Ryan World Gymnastics Championships. The women's competition is complete. Romania wins the gold. Now time for the men's team final. My name is Chris Marlowe. Glad you're with us here at the Tianjin Gym. Team USA set and ready to go, as is the home team, China. When assessing tonight's team competition, I can't believe I'm going to say this on TV, but China is a lock. They're unbeatable. The deepest, strongest, most talented team I've ever seen from them. They're technically sound, and they're competing in front of a home crowd here in Tianjin. No one can touch them. Now, the other medals are up for grabs. Russia looks strong. They have Nyemov and Bondarenka. And from Belarus, Ivan Ivankov, the two-time world all-around champion, leads a very polished and clean team. They have a shot at a medal. The longest shot for a medal is with the United States. They're led by Blaine Wilson, of course. And this is a tough, intense, and very scrappy team. If they perform like they performed in the qualifying round, this will be thrilling and dramatic. The U.S. opened up their competition on the floor exercise with a powerful Sean Townsend scoring a 9.2. Then Blaine Wilson solidified their first rotation with a 9.512 fighting for every landing. But it was on the Palma horse where the momentum started to pick up and it was Chris Young who fought through this routine It was from this moment on and this fisted hand raise that said, USA is here to play. Yuki Tamita went on with a 9.612 on one of his best events. And then John Roethlisberger gutted through to a 9.65, one of his highest international scores ever on the pommel horse for the 29-year-old. He continued that momentum on the rings, a double-double. Dismount and a good landing on that reconstructed knee for a 9-2-3-7. Blaine Wilson, who has struggled with a shoulder injury, finished well on 9.3. And then from the United States, Yuki Tamita took to the rings, not only to help the team, but also his individual all-around qualifying effort, only an 8.387 for Tamita in not his best event. Then on the vault, things started to fall apart for the U.S. Sean Townsend landed short. Chris Young tried the same vault, handspring double front end, once again landed short, but still got a good score, 9.4. So Blaine Wilson overdid his handspring double front, 9.562. It was going to be the parallel bars where the U.S. team was going to try to regain its momentum, which is exactly what happened. And once again, and it all started with Chris Young, 9.55. Sean Townsend had to gut his way through this routine. 9.412 for the young man from Houston, Texas. And Blaine Wilson once again capped off a terrific team effort on the parallel bars for the United States with a 9.625. Then on the high bar, Sean Townsend fell off, so it was up to Yuki Tomita, who barely hung on. A low score on that effort. And once again, it seems like Chris Young always comes through a 9.55 for his high-flying release moves. Came down to John Roethlisberger. This score of a 9.525 helped the U.S. clinch a space in the top six by just three-tenths of a point. They defeated the powerful Ukrainian team and the German team to finish in that sixth spot in the team finals. The six teams making it to the men's final, China, Russia, Belarus, Japan, Korea, United States. And these are the top six that will be the favorites as we head to the Sydney Olympics as well. A great place for the U.S. to be in that team final. So let's begin with rotation one. This is Xing Wei of China on the pommel horse. And as I said at the top of the show, this is an unbeatable team, and it starts right here on the pommel horse. Look at the body line of this guy. He's so straight. Those combinations on one pommel are so difficult. No one can match the Chinese team in terms of execution, precision, technique, and in most cases, difficulty. Now, the Russian team looks pretty good here. And the Belarus team looks good, but I think China's in the class by themselves. That was great. So a good opening routine for Xing Awei. Take a look at the clean leg form in these single leg scissors. That's a requirement. 
the gymnasts have to cover all sections of the horse. And he showed beautiful execution. His score, 9-7-2-5 for Al Wei. Let's go to the floor exercise now. And for Belarus, it will be Vitaly Rudnitsky. He's a very powerful tumbler, has some interesting combinations in this routine. Nice opening run. Now watch this, he's gonna do a double layout somersault right into a front somersault with a half twist. It's unique. Oh yeah. Beautiful Thomas flares up to a handstand and down. You see more and more pommel horse type work on the floor exercise these days. Another bounding skill. Anytime a gymnast does one of those counter rotational flips, they're earning bonus points. This is a great routine so far. Oh, and he went out of bounds there. That will be one tenth of a point for the step and one tenth for going out of bounds. This is the opening tumbling run. That's a laid out front somersault. The second one with a full and the third one with a one and a half twist. He earns five tenths bonus for that combination tumbling pass. The score for Rudnitsky of Belarus, 9-5-1-2. And now the United States is Blaine Wilson on vault. This is that handspring double front. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's one of the best ones I've seen him do. That was nice. He stuck one in the warm-up. And I wonder whether he had two of them in him. Boy, he really launched this thing. Good control on the landing. That's a tough thing to put down on your feet. You know that one was good because the Chinese even cheered. <laughs> Boy, he really launched that thing up in the air, and he had plenty of time to open up and look for the landing. That was great. Blaine Wilson giving the United States team a lift early. 9-7-2-5. Oh, yeah. Alexei Bondarenka on rings. He's probably the most complete gymnast here. He has no weaknesses. This Russian team, not quite as strong as the Chinese team. They have some veteran performers here, like Alexei Nemov. Bondarenka is so complete. He has the power. He has the strength. Nice execution on this event, although this is not his highest scoring event. Oh, that's a nice effort. Russians off to a good start. They were a little shaky in the qualifying round, but looking pretty good today. He's a little high in this inverted iron cross position. Needs to be down lower. Uprise to a flange where his body needs to remain horizontal. That was well done. Nice execution in body positions throughout. The score for Russia's Alexei Bondarenka, 9-6-3-7. The standings after rotation one, China as expected, taking the early lead. Korea, United States, Japan, two of the favorites, Belarus and Russia, struggling early. We'll be back, rotation two, coming up next. Tianjin, China, Chris Marlowe and Bart Connor. This is the 1999 World Championships. And the 12 teams that have already qualified. This is certainly very exciting in the team qualifying rounds because some great names, Hungary, Italy, Australia, Cuba, Canada, these are teams that didn't make it. So these are the 12 teams that will compete in the Olympics in Sydney in 2000. And uh, that was one of the purposes of coming to these world championships. Here is Alexei Niemov on vault, the Russian star. 1996 Olympic champion. He has several options. This vault here is a 9-9 start value. Half on, front half off. Oh, man, what a land. Stick it. 
Yeah. yeah. The Russian team looks more focused and more intent than they did the other day in the qualifying round. They got off to a weak start on rings, but everybody has a low-scoring team on the rings. It's the hardest place to get a good score, and the Russians will get back into the team battle with scores like that. Wow. 9.6 for Niemov. And a rare Russian smile. Next up, from Belarus, Vitaly Rudnitsky. He'll be on the pommel horse. So far, the Belarus team has a 9-2-2-5 from Alexei Sinkevich on the horse. Remember, each team is a six-person team, but they put five up on each event and then count the best four scores of those five. So you can have one error, but you can't have two if you hope to contend in the team competition. This is a good routine. Now, he's not quite as high over the horse as some of the Chinese athletes, but he shows plenty of difficulty. Oh, he had to gut it through a little sloppy at the end there. A couple of form breaks, but he kept with it. Now, you can hear that crowd going nuts in the background. That's because the Chinese athletes are on another event, six events going on simultaneously. The atmosphere is really charged. Here's where he struggled a little bit at the end. You can see bent knees, and he had to muscle it up to the handstand a little bit. He'll get a modest score. 9-3-1-2 for Vitaly Rudnitsky of Belarus. And now to Chris Rung of the United States on parallel bars. He has a very difficult move right here. Front up rise to a double back somersault. Nicely done. Chris Young is one of those guys that's a real inspirational leader for the U.S. team. He tends to be a real showman, and he goes for complicated moves. He's struggling a little there. Missed a couple of handstands, but he keeps it going, and I tell you, he keeps this U.S. team motivated and inspired. Short on that handstand and the one prior to it. And then he has to crank to pull this pike double around. He'll lose a couple of points on those last few moves in series. 9175 for Chris Young. And now Young Wei from China on rings. He's the fourth of five performers for the Chinese team. They're averaging a little more than a 9-5. So they are the one team that's able to get a decent score over here. It's just more evidence of how good they are. Look at that position in the inverted iron cross. Beautiful. <laughs> Yang Wei was the highest all-around performer in the qualifying session here into the team final. Would be considered a favorite to win the all-around competition. Boy, their mechanics are so good. And technique and execution, you rarely catch them making a mistake. There's their team head coach, Huang Yubin. Now watch this combination. That's the inverted cross, and he's going to go to a laid-out double within the rings called an O'Neill, invented by an American, Paul O'Neill, and finish in a beautiful iron cross position. On the dismount, Really beautiful form and execution in the air, and he just nails it. China looking unbeatable here. They keep putting up the big scores. 9-7-2-5 for Yong Wei. We will continue in rotation two right after this. Mission continuing from Tianjin, China. Right in the middle of rotation number two. We start with the United States. Sean Townsend on parallel bars. It's a great event for Sean. He has some big moves. Nice looking giant to a double back. Oh, he's very aggressive today. 
he was a little upset with himself after the qualifying round because he made a couple of mistakes, fell off the high bar, sat down his vault. But you can see he's really fighting and seems to be moving quickly through this routine. Oh, yeah. Once again, you hear that crowd cheering. It only happens to have coincided with the Chinese gymnast dismounting. <laughs> they weren't cheering for Sean. This is a great move. It's called a bell, invented by a German gymnast named Mike Bell. Pike double back somersault. Nice execution, just maybe two tenths of a point for the deduction on the landing. So important to stick those landings to up that score. Nine, four, three, seven. Still a good score for Sean Townsend. Continuing on parallel bars. America's best all-around gymnast. Here is Blaine Wilson. Blaine has a lot of variety of skills in this routine. Nice giant diamond off on the end. Oh, yeah, beautiful. He seems to get better as the competition goes on. Nice back toss. Stuts to one bar. Oh! Oh! And now he's looking at his arm. It looked like his arm buckled a little bit as he swung through the bottom. You can see his right shoulder is all taped up. He's going to have to have surgery on that after this championship is over. But he's going to go up and finish his routine because you need to complete the exercise with a legitimate dismount, which he does. Let's take a look at what happens here. This is the back toss. He was over a little bit. Stutz to one bar. It looks to me like he's leaning too far back here. And it's not an injury question. It's just the fact that his arm buckled under the strain of coming through with such speed. He was going so aggressively. 8-9-6-2 for Blaine Wilson. Let's go over to the rings. Here's Dong Zhen of China. This is perhaps one of the best ring workers in the world. Not only is he on the Chinese team, but he happens to be from Tianjin. So expect a big reaction from the crowd. Look at this move. Now watch this inverted iron cross. Look how level he is. And again. Oh, man. Perhaps one of the favorites to win gold at the Olympics in Sydney, as well as these world championships. He's so polished here. He has good swing elements, and of course, he has enormous strength moves. Oh, yeah. Look for a big score. <laughs> Dong Jin getting high fives and deservedly so. Good example of his nice technique in the front giant swing. You have to swing to a handstand in the forward direction as well as the backward direction. Those are requirements from the judges. And that's a good looking layout double. Nice landing. His score, nine. 762. After two rotations, China continues to lead by almost a point. Russia, however, has moved up into second, followed by Korea and Belarus. We'll continue more right after this. Championships continuing. This is Xing Ao Wei for China. On vault. He's just 17 years old. Nail it. Oh. That was impressive. That vault comes from a 9-8 start value, so you could do a more difficult vault, but I don't know how you could do it better. Look at his form. I mean, you're talking the kind of execution in the air that Greg Luganis did. This is amazing. Look at the leg form. Perfect. It's very difficult to keep that kind of form throughout a complicated vault like that. Xing Ao Wei, 9575. Let's go back to the parallel bars now. 
And pick up Russia's Alexei Niemov. He's won some world medals on this event as well, a silver and a bronze in the past. Seven times this guy's been in the world championships. Just 23 years old. Watch this double back, nicely done. Little form break there, and there as well. Very well known for his polish, and yet I've seen a few form errors and rhythm breaks in this exercise that are not common for him. Oh, that's a nice looking back toss. Good finish. This is that double back somersault. Slight form error as he swung through the bottom. This was as good as it gets. That's a back toss to a handstand. And the fact that he connected it right through to the dismount earns him another tenth of a point bonus. Respectable. 9-4-7-5 for Niemov. Here now is Ivan Ivankov from Belarus, two-time defending world champion in the all-around. He fell off the high bar the other day in the qualifying round and was very, very disappointed in himself. We see him here on the rings where he has won world medals before. This is a great event for him. His story has been well documented. Won the Worlds in 94, tore his Achilles tendon before the 96 Olympics and wasn't able to compete, of course. Came back in 97 to regain the all-around title of the world. Competing here, and he's not in his best condition. He's still having some trouble with the Achilles and also a hip flexor. But that was a great exercise. Of course, his long-term goal is to win gold in Sydney. Nice technique on that dismount. It's a double layout with a full twist, and he drills it. His score, outstanding. 9-7-1-2 for Ivan Ivankov. Coming up next, the United States. We will see Yuki Tomita on high bar. Had some problems in the qualifier. He needs to hit his routine here in the final. Can he do it? Stay with us. Gymnastics Championships continue from China. Along with Bart Connor, I'm Chris Marlowe. Rotation three. And here is Akihiro Kasamatsu from Japan on the pommelers. Interesting with the Japanese team, Kasamatsu's father was one of the greatest Japanese gymnasts of all time, Shigeru Kasamatsu, world and Olympic gold medalist. Another member on that team is Naoya Sukahara. His father is Mitsuo Sukahara, Another legendary Japanese gymnast. Oh, nice combination there on the end. The Japanese team was very strong in the qualifying round. One of the best team performances we've seen from them in a while. Nice job for Kasumatsu. Very cleanly and effortlessly up to the handstand at the end. Get a good score. 9-6-6-2 for Kasamatsu. So Japan hits. And we move back to the vault. China's Li Xiaoping. He was a member of the World Championship team in 97 for China and the world champion on the parallel bars. But watch this vault. Nice goal. It's a very complicated vault, made popular by Alexei Nemov from Russia. Only one vault allowed in men's team competition, as opposed to two in women's 
team competition. Interestingly enough, at these championships, they made a new ruling that after the Olympics in 2000, the women will only have to do one vault in the team and all-around competition, two vaults in the event finals. Boy, that was nice. Very high, clean, and far from the horse. Li Xiaoping, 9737. So the Chinese continue to pile up the points. Now, the USA's Yuki Tomita on high bar. Remember from the qualifying round, his hand slipped off after one of those release moves. He struggled to hang on to the bar to see if he could nail it today. He has very beautiful, fluid swinging elements. Nice rhythm. Here comes that release sequence. Right here, it's going to be the double over the bar. Oh, yeah. Just a big lunge on the landing, but a good-looking set for Yuki Tomita. Congratulations there from his father, Yoichi, and head coach, Peter Corman. He's very good at these in-bar elements. Notice his arms are twisted in that move. That's called an inverted giant swing position. The dismount is a double layout with two twists, just a little shorter rotation. That's probably a two, two and a half tenth of a point deduction. 9175 for Yuki Tomita on high bar. After three rotations now, China building up the lead over a point now ahead of Russia. Belarus, the United States has moved into fourth. Korea and Japan rounding it out. We'll continue right after this. 80 miles from Beijing. You drive a car, it'll take you four hours. You ride a bike, you can get there in three. <laughs> and boy, there's a lot of bicycles here. Rotation for Alexander Shostak from Belarus on vault. This will be only a 9-5 start value. It's a, oh, that's too bad. That's a big deduction for those big lunges afterward. And he didn't have that high of a start value anyway. This is a round off half turn to a laid out front somersault. It's tough to find the landing on that. As you can see. Eight, nine, seven, five. So a very low score for Showstock. As we ready for the United States and Sean Townsend on floor exercise. Got a bronze at the U.S. Nationals. He's pretty good here. He's very powerful here. A very tricky opening tumbling run. He lives down in Houston. He's coached by Kevin Majika. Those two tumbling runs each earn him five tenths of a point bonus. In order to get a full 10.0 start value, the men have to have 1.4 in bonus. So he has four tenths to make up with these other elements. The men's floor routine lasts between 50 and 70 seconds. Oh, nice power at the end. Just a step there on that full twisting double. Clean, conservative, but we'll get a good score. This is that bounding sequence, front with a full, laid out front, and the third front in sequence is one and a half twister. The dismount is a full in, back out, two somersaults with a full twist. Sean Townsend receives a 9-2-5 for his effort on floor. Let's go back to the pommel horse now and pick up Korea's Zhang Hyung Lee. The Korean team was outstanding on the parallel bars as well as the pommel horse in the qualifying rounds. 
This is a terrific team. They are about one or two events away from being one of the best teams in the world. A little bit weak on the rings. Nice single pommel sequence here. The longer they stay on that one pommel, the more they're racking up those bonus points. Well, oh, that's gonna get a nice score. High level of difficulty, clean execution. Watch this dismount sequence. It's important to go up to the handstand without slowing down, no break in the rhythm, and he did that nicely. So Lee's score, 9.6. We're going to come back. We'll continue with the 1999 World Championships. Uh, rotation four, men's team competition. We will start on the rings. Tatsuya Yamada from Japan. So far, their team has already scored a 9-3-7-5 from Fujita and 9-5-2-5 from Sukahara. Now, he's too high in that inverted iron cross. You can see he's trying to lower it down a little bit to get full credit. But these days, the judges are being very strict. You need to be within 15 degrees above the horizontal to get full credit for those inverted cross positions. Oh, there's a nice move called a bounce cross. Pretty good looking routine. Twisting dismount there. Press to a handstand is a requirement in the ring routine, as well as swinging to handstand from both different directions. That was his press. Full twisting double layout, just a slight shuffle on the landing there. Nine, five, three, seven. A good score for Yamada. Shing Awe on parallel bars. Oh, what a beautiful move. A pike double back somersault in between the rails. Oh, and look at that combination. That inlocating movement, he does it twice there. Is beautiful. A similar move done by a Spanish gymnast named Carballo. And he copied it and did it beautifully. It's going to get a good score. The Chinese team is in a class of their own on the parallel bars. Very, very stylish. Beautiful body position and clean form, which is tough to do in those double somersaults in between the rails. Look at that, like a diver in the pike position. Clean execution. Xing Ao Wei, 9-7. 9-7 for Ao Wei. Here now is Russia's Nikolai Kriukov on high bar. They've had a couple of weak performances here, an 8-6 from Alyoshin, a 9-0 from Podgorny, a 9-3-5 from Bondarenka, so they need a good routine right now. Oh, nice. Nice release move. That's called a Gaylord, invented by Mitch Gaylord of the U.S. team from years ago. The Russian team had three falls off of the high bar in the qualifying round. Looking stronger here. Nice. Didn't seem to phase the Chinese team much, did it? No. <laughs> A lot more smiling Russians these days, aren't there? Yeah, it's nice to see that. He spends half of his time in France. He lives in Orléans, France, in addition to Moscow. He trains in France with his former coach, 
were moved there. Kriokov score, 9.6. So the Russians trying to stay close to the Chinese, and it is very, very difficult. China has increased its lead over Russia to over two and a half points. Belarus in third place. Japan has moved up to fourth. Korea fifth. The USA dropping to sixth. More of the World Gymnastics Championships after this. Gymnasium here in China. It is a sellout. World Championships continuing. We begin rotation number five with Mutsumi Harada of Japan on vault. This vault is a 9-8 start value. Oh, that was beautiful. Nicely done. Nice execution, very high, and he floated it through the air. It's good that there are some Japanese fans cheering these Japanese team members on because they're not getting a lot of encouragement from the Chinese crowd, I'll tell you that. Look at this beautiful position in the air. Laid out front somersault with one and a half twist. He lands on that white tape. If he goes over the tape, he has one-tenth of a point deduction. Arata gets a 9-5-6-2. Now, Nikolai Kriukov, once again, will be performing on floor. He's a very balanced gymnast. You see he has his right knee tape there. He's had some knee troubles in the past. When I say balanced, I mean that he's really very complete. He's good on all six events. This is the only event where he has some struggle because of the weakness in his right knee. Let's see he can do the pommel horse type skills. He has adequate tumbling. He's strong enough to do the strength moves on the rings. We have some gymnasts in this competition that are good on really four or five events, but have one event where they're no good at all. A good example is Alexei Niemov from Russia. He's great on five events, but he's lousy on the rings, and it hurts him in the all-around. Krukov is stumbling through these elements. They started this competition off with such intensity and haven't looked quite as focused on these last couple of events. This is the double laid out somersault. Nice technique. Slight bobble on the landing. The double twist right to a punch front. Very high. Once again, a slight bobble there as well. What's that old saying, Bart? Wobbles and bobbles will do you in. <laughs> Kriakov gets a 9-1-8-7. China still leads, followed by Russia when we come back. Championships of Gymnastics, Chris Marlowe and Bart Connor. Ivan Ivankov on the parallel bars from Belarus. So far, the team scores for Belarus have averaged a little over 9-3, so they could use a strong performance here. Ivankov is very clean on all the apparatus. Nice underbar swings, that's a requirement. You also need to do elements above the bars. 12. Twice he goes out to the side in what they call a side glide. You're seeing more and more of those these days. Oh, beautiful back toss. Nailed the handstand. Okay, just one step, but that'll get a good score. This is that back toss. He really hangs it up in the air, actually gains it, travels it forward a little bit, but pauses just barely in the handstand. 9-5-7-5 for Ivankov. We move now to the high bar. This is Lu Yu Fu of China. Oh, you're going to like this routine. This guy flies, Chris. He goes for some tough stuff. He has three huge release moves. 
nailed it the other day in the qualifying round. His first one here is a double layout over the bar. Oh, yeah, right out on the end. Reverse heck with a full twist. Wow. Oh, that's nice. That was impressive. Now he's got one more of those. This one without the twist. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh. Caught it. How did he hang on? Wow, that's the same thing we saw from Yuki Tomita from the U.S. team. Whoa! It's the dismount coming up. Oh, that's a shame. I'll tell you one thing, if he would have let go, he'd end up in the third row. This guy was flying. Wow. Good that he was able to hang on. Certainly won't get a very good score, but he's not injured at least. These routines these days, the gymnasts are going for such hairy moves that if they go flying, it's look out. Double, double. Double twisting, double back at the end. China's Liu Yu Fu, an 8.887. Back with more right after this. Football fans, welcome back as Rotation 5 continues at the World Championships. And the United States will send out John Roethlisberger on the pommel horse. So far, the U.S. team has done pretty well on the horse. Chris Young had only an 8-8-1-2, but Steve McCain a 9-3-1-2, Wilson a 9-5-5, and Tamita a 9-5-7-5. Count the best four of five scores. Roethlisberger had a 9-6-5 in the prelims, so he can get a good score here. Nice travel to the end without using the pommels. That'll score well. He is such an important leader to this team. 29 years old, he's been in two Olympics, countless world championship teams. He came back from the reconstructed knee just about a year ago. He blew his knee out, and now he's back on this team and delivering these kind of performances and this kind of pressure. Boy, that's, he's an impressive young man. John Roethlisberger, 9-5-3-7. High fives all around. Let's move to the floor. Russia's Alexei Niemov. Forex champ at the European Championships last year. So far for the Russian team, they had a 9-6-2-5 from Bondarenka. The other three scores are barely over 9-1, so they need a good performance here. Beautiful. Out of bounds. Out of bounds is a tenth of a point deduction. That area, by the way, is 40 feet by 40 feet approximately. Boy, those flares are nice, huh? Effortlessly up the handstand and down. Beautiful. Watch this third tumbling run. Double full punch, one and a quarter front somersault. Nice. He's been doing this same routine for at least four years. I never get tired of seeing it, but I wonder if he ever gets tired of doing it because he's done it for so long. Here's a pike double back. I guess the bigger question will be, what do the judges still think of it? Yeah, that's true. It's going to get a good score because he has nice style. He has plenty of difficulty. The pike double back somersault was just a little shorter rotation. The Russian team needed a good performance there. The judges like it. 9-6-3-7 for Alexei Niemov. Back over to the high bar we go where China's Li Xiaoping awaits. Nice in-bar elements. Here comes a big release. Very high, laid out, reverse heck.
tell you one thing that's great about this Chinese team, besides their technical execution, they go for hard elements. And they don't hold back in competitions like this. Now, he didn't do very many complicated combinations, so he's still going to get a good score. But he didn't take some of the risks that some of his other teammates did, that's for sure. It's another one of those double-doubles in the laid-out position. Boy, he twists fast. His score, 9-6-8-7. Good score for Li Xiaoping. China. Still nearly two and a half points ahead. Belarus has moved ahead of Russia into second. Japan, Korea, and the United States rounding out the top six. We're going to continue. The final rotation is coming up. Stay with us. 1999 World Gymnastics Championships. Chris Marlowe and Bart Connor. Glad you're with us. Xing Awe of China on the floor. Beautiful opening tumbling run, a laid out double back with a full twist. Three of the five Chinese gymnasts do double twisting double layouts. Oh, yeah. Those moves are called Russian moors, where you keep your body out straight, hands in front of you, and you go around. If you go around three times, you earn bonus points. Two-and-a-half twister on the side. Tumbling pass there, nicely done. Well, that's an unusual final tumbling run. Not as spectacular as some of the others you see, but it is one of those bonus tumbling passes that earns five tenths of a point bonus because of the tricky combination of those three elements. Here's the opening run. This is the laid out double back. Boy, look at the form. Such classy execution. Just a ho hum routine. A 9 4 7 5 for Sheng Ao Wei. This guy's just 17 years old. Boy, what potential he has. Back to the pommel horse. Here is Yevgeny Podgorny of Russia. In the last year and a half or so, Pud Gordney has had a rather inconsistent career. You never know what you're going to get out of this guy. All right, a little sloppy on those single pommel elements. This is good. This Russian team is doing a nice job on the pommel horse. All the scores above 9-5 and some above 9-7, so... Another solid routine. Yeah, Russia needs all the points it can get in its chase of China. He kept the rhythm going nicely here. It looked like he was going to be in a little trouble. Kept his legs separated too long, but he was able to pirouette and finish through the handstand nicely. Solid score, 9-5-2-5 for Yevgeny Podgorny. Now China's Liu Yu Fu on the floor. We saw him almost fly off the high bar in the last rotation. Let's see if he'll fly off the floor. Should be going for a double-double. Oh, yeah. That is an amazing element. It's what they call a super E move in terms of difficulty, which means he earns three tenths of a point bonus just for going for that move. Beautiful elevation over the floor. Those flares. That move is called a plange. That's in the straddle position. 
a strength type move like that is required on the floor these days by the judges. And a double layout at the end. And it looked easy for him. Here's that double-double. Watch that. Two twists. Boy, they go fast. That big hop on the landing is at least two-tenths of a point deduction. And that cost him a bit. 9-4-2-5 for Lu Yu Fu. Sixth and final rotation will continue. 99 World Championships, the final moments, rotation number six. China is on the floor. This is Li Xiaoping. Oh, yeah, another double twisting, double somersault from the Chinese team on the floor. And he did it effortlessly. Looks like he went out of bounds, touched the white border there. Of course, it's not going to matter. The Chinese team, right from the beginning, has been dominating so much. They won the preliminary competition by three and a half points, which is about equivalent to a 20-point basketball win. It's big. The Russian team has looked stronger today than they did in the prelims. Belarus looks very good. The American team is holding solid, but they're one notch below what we're seeing here from people like the Chinese. Chinese men have won the last three world team championships, and it's because of just incredible execution, high level of difficulty. And look at the technique. This is the last tumbling run. It's a double layout. That's at the end of the routine. What conditioning. Li Xiaoping, a spectacular performer. He earns a 9-5-8-7. Again on floor, Huang Xu from China. No end to the great performers they have and their depth. Little slip there on that second tumbling run. It's interesting that he wears socks. A lot of gymnasts go barefooted. Some wear tumbling shoes. I gotta believe those socks are kind of slippery. He was fifth in the all-around the last World Championships. It's interesting with the Chinese team that they often select a certain skill or a certain pattern of skills, and everybody on the team does it. This routine almost looks like a compulsory routine. They're all doing the same elements or very similar elements. Okay, now he went with an easier dismount there. He's not the strongest tumbler on this team. But playing it safe is probably a good idea, although it's not going to matter now. They're so far ahead. Wong Xu, and he realizes that his Chinese squad has this thing just about wrapped up. This is a whip to a double full, a very simple final tumbling run. But he knows the team has it locked. A 9-2-1-2 for that conservative routine for Huang Xu. Have you noticed how they all quickly pick up those uh, sports drinks? You would guess that that's one of their sponsors, wouldn't you? Bonus points. There you go. Blaine Wilson, USA on rings. Blaine has always excelled in this event. A finalist at the Olympics in 96 in Atlanta on this event. But as you see there, 
His right shoulder is bandaged. He's had some trouble with some of these strength elements. That's a little high in the inverted iron cross. A lot of strain on his face. He has indicated that he's going to have surgery when these championships are over. He had surgery on that shoulder a year ago, but claims that he came back too fast. Boy, that's a steady handstand. U.S. has done a nice job over here. Consistent scores. And Blaine Wilson finishing with a flourish. The Chinese fans, however, realize that their team has won their fourth straight world championship. Our congratulations to China. Blaine Wilson, he gets a 9-6-1-2 for his final routine. China, the dominant team in the world in men's gymnastics. Russia gets the silver, Belarus the bronze. For the United States, a good result as the Americans tried to build their way towards Sydney, Australia in the year 2000. The Chinese, however, they rule the world in men's gymnastics. We'll be back and wrap it up for you right after this. 1999 World Championships of Gymnastics have been brought to you by Circuit City. Answers in every department. Low prices all over the store. The Japanese in the 60s, the Soviets from the late 70s through the early 90s, and now it is the Chinese turn to dominate the 1999 World Team Champions. The United States, a respectable showing in sixth place. For their reaction, let's go over to my pal, Bart Connor. Well, congratulations to the U.S. men. First of all, Yoichi Tamita, it was a terrific effort, and one of your goals was to be in the team finals, and here you were. We just did a great job, and everybody chipped in, and they fought all the way through. Some people say we don't belong here. We definitely belong in top six. We did great. Chris, uh, there was a lot of highs and lows tonight. Uh, what about this environment? This is pretty intense, team finals. Yeah, for the first time, uh, Sean, you struggle a little bit in the preliminaries, but you rock today. Um, well, we all did our job, and the atmosphere was, was like really intense, and we just tried to go out and have fun and hit our teams and see what happened. Lane, you popped the big vault, and then you struggled a little on the P-bars, but what is it about this team? You guys just keep fighting. We got heart. You know, that's why we're here. And uh, I think it's going to take us a long way, especially at this World Championships and at the Olympic Games. So look out, Sydney. We're a little less than a year away from the Olympics. Uh, what does this team need to go to the next level? Uh, no, we just need to go back home and get some more difficulty and uh, get some more routines. I think we'll be right up there. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Thank you. For the United States, respectable showings. The men and women in the team event finished sixth. One year away from the Olympics, they will hope for medals in Sydney. Our congratulations to the remaining women and the Chinese men. They both take home the gold. For Bart Connor, I'm Chris Marlowe. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, go.com.